There's always air movement in this building, it seems like. Every other 16 foot, there's a vent in the ceiling. So it's just, it's just constantly venting. It's about 10 degrees warmer in the winter, 10 degrees cooler in the, in the summer in this building. Brady was looking to upgrade his cow-calf operation, have better facilities to calve in. Brady reached out to us. I've sat down with Brady, and then uh, we worked through kind of his size and scope, you know, went back and forth, tried to match his costs, and uh, come up with a design that we've got. So this facility is uh, 62 wide, 272 foot long, and this facility is actually running north-south. So that's one unique uh, thing about the AccuSteel is we're very comfortable running that north-south or east-west either direction. So on the south end of this facility, there's a 32 foot area for the work area that Brady has set up. And then on the north end of it is a 32 foot area for a manure stack. The bed pack area is a dirt line pack. And then on the front side, uh, where the cattle step up to the bunks deep, that's a 14 foot scrape alley, and that is concrete. On the outside of the facility, on the front side, we have precast concrete bunks. Those bunks will set on a 16 foot concrete dry pack. You know, I got this 11 foot overhang, so the bunks are always shaded. I don't scoop no snow, there's no snow gets in here. This is an equip building, uh, which is through the NRCS. Um, they recommended me to them. And then uh, also uh, YouTube, I was searching buildings and central confinement popped up. Uh, so I got in touch with them and really liked the sales guys and uh, that's how we started. This is what I wanted, and, and when I go back with another building, I'll, I'll build the same one with CCS. Happy 40th anniversary, CCS.